Well, I'm sure you all heard about the recall Gavin Newsom uh, petition that's been going around here in California. And I'm sure our governor is not the only one that has people petitioning across their states to have their governors recalled too. And all because of the fact that a lot of people feel that it's been long enough and that every part of the and that every state that is basically kind of like a hot zone, if you will, uh, for the virus needs to reopen for the economy to recover. And I completely understand that. In fact, I completely understand both sides of the spectrum, if you will. I mean, I understand people want their states like California wants this state, like people here in California want this state reopened so the economy can be better. I understand people in Texas want the same thing. People in Florida want the same thing. New York. They all want the same thing because, you know, it's been long enough. And by now, as a lot of us have been noticing, a lot of people are actually starting to wear masks more so than ever because they're realizing, hey, we don't want to go through the same relapse we did before. Now, true, some people may not want to wear a mask because they look at Democrats like Pelosi and, you know, some Democratic mayors and governors and say, hey, you know, obviously the virus isn't as bad as we think it is. So, you know, because they're not wearing any. So why should we? But still, you have a majority of Americans across the country in their states that are kind of in the same situation as California that are now wearing masks because they realize that if they don't, they're going to go through another relapse and they don't want that. You know, they don't want that. And, you know, and that's, and, and to me, that's encouraging because even those that want to recall the governor are realizing, hey, we need to wear these masks to be protected. So if we wear these masks and show that we're protecting ourselves, we're taking the precautions, it should be enough to get this guy to reopen the state because now we understand. And that until there is a vaccine or something like that, or until this virus really dies down, we have no choice but to wear this kind of stuff while we're out in public. And, and again, it's, you know, it's admirable they want to do that. But then again, on the other side, you have people that are like, look, be patient. It's about a game. It's a, it's a waiting game. It's about being patient. Patience. It's like testing your skills of being patient. Don't rush into things. You know, we may not, you may not agree with what he's doing and we get that. But what he's doing is to protect all of us. Is to, you know, make sure that if he does allow counties to open up and businesses to open up, there will, there will, that there will be less of a chance of a virus being spread or caught or, or anything by, you know, from one person to another. There'll be less of a chance. So let's be patient. I mean, some people point out that today Newsom, I guess, gave the green light for nail salons to open back up for business indoors. Which does kind of open, open the possibility for hair salons as well. And then eventually movie theaters and all that with modifications. And like I said, I think right now as I speak... You know, a lot of us have learned that if we're going to be in public right now, we don't want to go through a relapse, no matter what state we're in, we have to wear the mask and that's it. You know, there's nothing else we can do. But again, I understand both sides of the spectrum. In fact, I didn't even know, you know, the recall Gavin petitioning would, you know, come any close or come any kind of close range of my, my county that I live in. And, which is Stanislaus Claus County, but yet it did. I mean, a week before I was let go from my job, I was out in the heat doing carts, and this guy set up this canopy tent for shade, then set up a table, put the sign out that says, Recall Gavin Newsom, and had a variety of notebook paper ready for people to sign and put the signatures to, you know, to get the petition, you know, to get this petition out, you know, out there, so that, you know, the voting of, re of recall on Newsom could be put on the ballot for this year. So, excuse me. So I can, so yeah, and from what I saw, there were people signing it. I mean, I was out there most of the day in that heat, and there were people signing it. I would take a break, people would stop behind the guy, 
would stop a, would stop at the table, the guy would talk to them, and they would sign it. They would come out of the store after they're done shopping. They would sign it. I saw more people signing that petition than anything else. Now, true, um, it looked like maybe he wasn't really supposed to be there. Maybe he didn't have permission, but he had to go and clarify maybe perhaps he did. Because one of the assistant managers came out, co-manager, I think, and was talking to him and being like, and I guess asking him, okay, what are you doing? Do you have a permit to do this? Because we didn't hear anything. We didn't get any phone calls or anything. I, was, I don't know. I didn't really hear. But usually when a, an assistant or a co-manager of any kind, a higher up, goes out there and confronts somebody like that or talks to somebody like that about, you know, what they're doing, you know, via petitions or whatever, you know, it's, it's really surprising to... Uh, but not surprising, but what I'm trying to say is when we had when Okay, what I'm trying to get at because I'm doing this off the top of my head uh, Basically anytime we've had a higher-up go out there and talk to somebody about that You know doing that kind of thing usually they're able to provide documentation of yeah See that we do have permission call the call your higher-ups or something something like that or call the property the people that own the property You know we have the right to do this Anyway, getting to the point, getting to the point here, um, basically, you know, you know, I, I, again, I, I saw people signing the petition and they were signing it without hesitation because obviously a lot of people want Newsom out. I mean, everybody points at what he did with doing his job running San Francisco and, you know, not doing a good job there. And, and now he's taking what he did in San Francisco and you know, dumping it upon California as a whole. And, you know, not a lot of people are happy about that. And, you know, you, you even have John Cox, who was against him saying, hey, look, you know, Newsom obviously doesn't have the experience to, to lead a state. You know, it's one thing to lead a city. It's another to lead a state. So, so yeah, again, I, I understand the whole situation when it comes to this Gavin Newsom situation and recalling him and like I said I'm pretty sure he's not the only governor that's having people in their states wanting him to be recalled for what they're doing you have the governor of Michigan that probably has people wanting her recalled you have the governor in Texas the governor in New York you know you have a lot of recalling probably going on as we speak because these because the people are sick and tired of these governors not doing what's right not doing their job and reopening the states because, you know, pretty much they've they've learned the lesson. They have learned the lesson that look, we get it. We have when we go out, we have to wear the mask. We get it. You know, we get it. We have to wear the mask. But it's but it's just one of those situations to where the battle lines are drawn. And you know, when people say this is the most important election of the year. You know, when it comes to electing a president and people for Congress and for the and for the House and all that, it's also a very important election for the future of all the governors that run the states, age that they're running, because these governors that run these states, that you know, a lot of people want opened. You know, the future is on the line because all it takes is for enough signatures on a petition. To get the to get the recall put on the ballot, and it will take enough voting for them to be recalled and removed from office, or at least investigated for their actions. And it wouldn't be the first time that California did this. I mean, I wasn't here when the last time they did it, but Gary Davis got recalled for what he, for things he did. So this would be the second time in almost a, in over a decade that a recall would occur. And I guess what is it? You know, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen years. So, you know, again, it's just one of those situations to where when people talk about how important this election is, it's not just important because of who we choose to run the, run the country. It's important for the governors that run the state because those people that want their states reopened, they're going to make sure that if the governors don't do it, don't do what they ask, that they're going to make sure through recalls and all that, through a recall, uh, through, you know, in those states, that those governors are removed from power and that someone is placed 
if someone is put in a place that will do the right thing. So, anyway, yeah. Right now, apparently, it doesn't look too good uh, for Gavin. Not saying that he'll lose his position, but if this recall has enough of an effect or enough push and pull on it to get his attention, I'm not saying it would happen, but I almost can guarantee Gavin Newsom will be like, okay, look, I know about, he'll have to, because he'll have to acknowledge it. He'll have to acknowledge it if it gets enough momentum and him to get on the ballot. He'll have to acknowledge it, acknowledge it. And maybe what he'll have to do is say, okay, look, I, you know, I, and what I'm trying to say is maybe what's going to happen is he's going to have to acknowledge it if it gets enough steam and momentum that he's going to probably have no choice but to reopen California just to get the people not to recall him from office. He's going to have to say, you know what? I, I know about the recall. I know you guys want me. I know people want me out of office because I'm not doing what, what is necessary or what is right in their opinion. So you know what? I, I'm going to correct course. I'm going to do what you ask. I'm going to reopen the state. And that's probably what's going to take. It's going to take him probably acknowledging uh, the recall petition, gaining momentum and steam, that he's going to have probably no choice in their minds that the people that are creating this petition or making this happen, this movement happen, if you will, it's going to, in their minds, it's going to cause him no choice but to reopen the state. But again, you have people that are defending him and saying, look, it's about patience. It's a game of patience. You know, Governors, you know, you may not like what they believe in or they support or they back or they back up, if you will. But it's a game of patience because they're taking their time. They want to make sure that every avenue, every corner, every inch of the state is covered, you know, before they're saying, OK, thumbs up, you can reopen or this can happen or that can happen. You know, people, like I said earlier, will point out the nail salons opening up and saying, hey, that opens the door for the hair salons now. And maybe even schools and movie theaters and stuff. Um, but we don't know. We don't know. But yeah, anyway, I probably have done enough rambling here, trying discussing this. And um, let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the recall Gavin Newsom deal? Do you know of any other recalls happening across the country when it comes to governors of certain states that are not doing the right thing? in people's minds and reopening or at least doing something to give a little bit of semblance of normalcy uh, once again let me know down below comment if you like i'd like to hear from each and every one of you again i did this from i did this off the top of my head you know if you will so again let me know what you all think down below comment if you like and i am out god bless take care stay safe